science learners, welcome to the new episode of Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Are you ready to learn new science concept for today? I am Teacher Larisa, your learning buddy in Exploring Science 4. In our last science episode, you learned about the path of light. Again, light is a form of energy that allows us to see the world. The main source of light here on Earth is the sun. You also learned that light travels in a straight line when going to a single medium through which a light wave can travel. Light travels quickly in air but it travels slowly in water and glass. There are also objects that produce light. We call it luminous objects. On the other hand, there are objects that cannot produce light and we call it non-luminous objects. Light can be blocked by opaque objects but it can pass through transparent and translucent objects. For a quick review, can you identify which of these objects can block or let the light pass through? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that you know how light travels, we can now move forward to the third part of our science episode on how does heat, light, and sound travel which will focus on how sound travels in different materials. Science Learning Episode How Does Heat, Light, and Sound Travel? Part 3 How Sound Travels in Different Materials At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to 1. Describe how sound travels in solid, liquid, and gas 2. Infer that sound travels through different media. And three, show through various activities that sound has the ability to travel in solid, liquid, and gas. Sound is a type of kinetic energy produced from vibrating objects. It is an energy perceived by the ears. Hawakan mo ang ibabaw ng iyong lalamunan. Sabihin mo ang salitang, Hello! What did you feel? Yes, you're right. Something is shaking or moving inside your throat. Ang sound ay produce ng ating vocal cords when they come together and then vibrate as air passes through them during the exhalation of air from the lungs. For us to better understand how sound is produced through vibration, let us take a look on this short activity. Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Here are the materials that we are going to use in this activity. We have transparent plastic ruler and table. Here is what we are going to do. 1. Get a plastic ruler and press one end to the edge of the table by holding it down firmly. 2. Push or press down the free end, then release it suddenly. Observe what happens when you release the free end of the ruler. Write your observations in your science notebook. 3. Hold the ruler while it is still in motion. Repeat number 2 and 3 several times or at least 3 times. Observe what happens. Now, let us try to answer some of the guide questions of this activity. 1. What happened to the ruler when you suddenly released it? 2. How do you describe the movement of the ruler? 3. Did you hear a sound? 4. Did the sound coming from the moving ruler suddenly stop when you held it? When you release it again? Now, let us try to mark your answers. For number 1, when the ruler was suddenly released, it moved up and down. Number 2, the movement of the ruler is up and down. Number 3, did you hear a sound? Yes, I did. And for number 4, the sound stopped when the movement of the ruler was stopped. A sound was heard again when it was released. Do you have the same answers with me? Good job! 
city, you made sound through the ruler on the top of the table. Napansin mo na kapag ang mga bagay ay gumagawa ng tunog, ito ay gumagalaw ng pabalik-balik, or in English, it moves back and forth. This movement is called vibration. Holding the ruler in motion stops the sound. Naririnig lang natin ang tunog na nagmumula sa ruler when it continuously moved back and forth or when it vibrated. Ganito rin ang nangyayari sa iba pang object. Without vibration, sound will not be produced. There are imaginary waves produced when an object vibrates. Ito ay tinatawag nating sound waves. When sound is produced, sound waves are also produced. A sound wave travels at different speed through different media. As it travels, a sound wave is created in response to vibration and how they move back to their original position. To observe how sound travels at different media, let us take a look on these activities. Here are the materials that we are going to use in this activity. We have two empty cans and string or yarn. Insert one end of the string into one of the tin cans. Tie a knot at the end of the string so it doesn't slip out. Insert the other end of the string into the other thin can. Tie a knot at the end of the string so it doesn't slip out. The knot should be inside the can. Stand one meter apart from your partner. Pull the string until it is tight between the two cans. The string must come out of both cans. The open part of the can must serve as receivers where both pairs will speak to and listen with. Speak one word into the open part of the tin can. Have your partner listen by placing the open part of the tin can against her ear. Record the word you said on the corresponding column. On a scale of 1 to 10, have your partner record what he or she heard you said and how loud he or she thought your voice was. Move to a distance of 3 meters and repeat steps 3 to 5. Move to a distance of 6, 10, 15 until you reach the distance of 20 and compare the results you have recorded. Hello dear science learners at para sa ating ikalawang activity ay i-observe natin kung paano nag-travel ang sound waves sa lig. Huwag niyo itong gagawin sa inyong bahay kung kayo ay walang kasamang gabay ng inyong mga magulang. Sa activity na ito ay kailangan mong gumamit ng large basin na may tubig at gayon din ng meter stick. Ang iyong kapartner ay lalayo sa iyo ng isang metro at magsasabi siya ng word na itatry mong pakinggan habang ikaw ay nakaluglob sa tubig. Number one, cellphone. Number two, electric fan. Number three, basement. For our last activity, we will find out how sound travels in air. For this activity, we have to find the wide area where we can perform, preferably at the school grounds. At first, you will stand one meter away from your partner and speak one word at a normal volume. He or she will record the word you said. Move to a distance of one meter. Say a different word at the same volume. Have your partner record the word you said. Do this until you reach 6 meters away from each other. Then, compare the words that you have said and the words that your partner recorded.
Now, let us try to answer some of the guide questions of these activities. 1. Do you have the same list of words with that of your partner? If not, what do you think might have caused the difference? 2. In which activity do you think is it easy for you to hear the words clearly? In air, water, or solid? For number 3, in which material or place do you find it to speak very easily? Number 4, in which material do you find it easy to listen to the words being said? 5, how does the type of materials or places affect our hearing? And 6, how does the distance of the speaker and the listener affect the clear hearing and understanding of words. Now, let us mark your answers. For number one, answers may vary, but learners may have different lists of words because of the distance from each other and the clarity of the uttered words. For number two, the answer is, when we are near each other in the open area or air and on the solid, or when we use the tin can telephone. For number three, the material or place where we spoke easily is in the open area or air and on the solid or using the tin can telephone. For number four, it is easy to listen to the words being said in an open area where we are close to each other and on the tin can telephone. For number five, the type of material or place affects the speed of sound waves as it travels from its source to its receiver. And for number six, the nearer the persons are to each other, the easier the sound is heard. The farther they are from each other, the harder the sounds are heard. Do you have the same answers with me? You're doing a good job! Bata. Ngayon ay lalaruin natin ang pass the ball game. Dahil wala tayong bola, gagamitin natin ang pillow sa game na ito. Ang objective ng laro na ito ay para ipakita sa inyo ang transfer ng sound waves sa iba't ibang video. Sa unang round ng game na ito ay i-arrange natin ang ating players katulad ng particles ng solid. Kailangan sila ay magkakalapit. Pagkatapos, may arrange ang mga players natin ng magkakadikit at parang mga solid particles ay ipapasa natin sa kanila ang pilo. Ang pilo o bola ay ang kumakatawan sa sound wave. Para sa ikalawang round ng ating laro ay iyahalin tulad natin ang ating players sa particles ng liquid kung saan mayroon itong pagitan sa bawat isa. Ipapasa muli nila ang pilo o bola sa isa't isa at titignan natin kung gaano nila kabilis na maipapasa ang pillow o bola sa pagitan ng bawat isa. At para sa ikatlong bahagi ng ating laro ay i-arrange natin ng ating players halintulad sa particles ng gas. Kung saan ang bawat isa ay magkakalayo sa isa't isa. Pagkatapos i-arrange ang mga players ay ipapasa muli natin sa kanila ang bola o pillow at yun ipapasa nila sa isa't isa. Titignan natin kung gaano kabilis nila maipapasa ang pillow o bola sa isa't isa. Dito makikita natin kung paano mag-travel ang sound waves as vibration sa gas particles. Sound waves travel fastest through solid materials because its particles are closer together while sound travel more slowly in liquids than in most solids. Sound travel the slowest through gas because its particles are far away from each other. During the pass the ball game, the ball or pillow was easily passed from one member to another when they are standing close to each other. The ball or pillow is likened to the vibration carrying sound wave that is passing through particles that made up a matter. If the particles that made up a matter are very close to each other, sound wave passes quickly. 
That's it, science kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated on our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next episode. Bye-bye!